What's up, RC Addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're building ourselves a four-wheel drive brushless drift truck. That's right. All right. So, drift is all the ray, all the craze today, right? But uh, I don't have a, the proper drift vehicle, a two-wheel drive proper drift vehicle. So, I'm going to make a four-wheel drive drift vehicle you can see i got my assortment of accoutrement here and um, we're going to go through that and last i'm going to reveal what vehicle we're going to use what's the donor vehicle okay so now everything here um is on the budget you know me i like to build on the budget unless i'm building my Creighton or something like that and uh but yeah everything that's going in here is on the budget so if I already didn't have it laying around, I went and got it on the cheap. Um, I won't put links. You guys can find the stuff. Google it on Amazon, eBay, Google, wherever you like to shop and buy your cheap shit. Get it there. All right. So first, we're going to start off with um, the first things in front. Okay. So I got this wing here. This one I got on eBay. I'll tell you where I got the stuff. You just got to go find it. Um, so I got this on eBay. Right, it says RC World. I opened it already. RC World. All right, that's what's on the tag right there, and it's a wing. Okay, so every drift truck's got to have a wing. So I, I went through several different wings, and this is the one of three that I purchased that I settled on. I, I tried to crate the wing because I wanted that big fat wide look out back. But it really wasn't sitting on the back of what I was going to put it on. So I got this. They're, um, I think they're aluminum. They're metal, right? And they're adjustable. So you get your posts, right? Your wings. Okay. And your side mounts where you can adjust how the angle of the wing you want. And it comes with these screws here too. Okay, so... There's going to be a little bit more on these screws later. I'm going to set this to the side. Okay, so we got the wings. Or the wing. For the drift truck. Next up. Um, receiver. Okay, so I went with a receiver that's got a gyro built in. And you guys know that I already have the radio link. This radio link um, RC6 GS V2. Okay, you really haven't really seen me use this on anything yet. You haven't seen me. I've been using it. I've only I run my Creighton twice. I've got to start making videos on that. And I love that thing. Oh my gosh, I wish I should have shot a video. But anyway, we're talking about drift truck. So um, yeah, so I've got three or four vehicles bound up to this so far, and we are going to use this with the drift truck. And the gyro built in here. And um, the receiver we got is the single antenna version. Okay. Let's see if we can get a focus. There we go. The RC, the R6FG V2. It's a six channel. Gyro inside. Okay. We're going to hook that up too. Okay. All right. So after that. We've got, what else do we have? Lights. Uh, headlights and taillights. Oh, got these, I think, I don't know, eBay or something, or Amazon, one of the two, where everything comes from, where everything comes from. So we've got these lights, and they're going to plug into that ESC, or that receiver there, excuse me. Okay. Uh... What's this right here? Okay, now these are light buckets because the vehicle I got originally comes with light buckets, but they weren't included with the kit that I bought and I explain it to you when I reveal it. So I got light buckets. You have to cut them out. You can see it's on a plastic tray here. Let me open it up for you. Um, again, eBay. This, this is what they are. Uh, 
and then eBay. So let's see, so you get in the bag your light buckets, right? And it's just a plastic sheet. And I get I, this is not what I expected when I cut it. It's not what I looked like when I saw the picture, but it's okay. I'll make it work. So I guess what you got to do, you just cut out what you need, glue it on to where you need to glue it to. You poke your little hole where you see the little cross. Pop your lights in there and you're set. Golden. Okay. Comes in there. Let's see. You get some instructions. Which come perfectly detailed and understandable in Chinese or Japanese. I don't know. But, yeah. Just look at the pictures, I guess. You can look at the pictures and figure it out. I don't know if you want to use a light unit or whatever, but I, uh, I don't know yet. But, yeah. So, that's what you do. So, I got those. Set that off to the side. What else did I get? Oh, and it also comes with um, the metallic backing. So, you get that nice bright shine. Okay. So you got that, put this trash off to the side here. Okay, um, power plant, power plant, power plant. You know I like my Surpass Hobby stuff, focus. I like my Surpass Hobby stuff, brush this, okay. And here feels like the ESC, yes. And here I got the Surpass Hobby Brushless ESC. And you don't need anything this strong, but I went with an 80 amp, with an 80 amp PSC brushless, just in case, I don't know, somebody wants to race or something. But this is a drift truck. It's four wheel drive, but it's an on road car, anyway. So yeah, that's what I got, ESC. 80 amp, so that can run 3S, but we're drifting with 2S, but this can handle 3S in case some sucker tries me. All right, so we got that. We got the motor, another Surpass Hobby, brushless. Had this one sitting around the house. So, and then after uh, we go through all this, I'll tell you which items I had laying around the house and which ones I purchased and how much the items were I purchased to get all in on this build. So, we have the brushless motor from Surpass Hobby. It's that budget spec, everything, budget spec. Thirty-six fifty, thirty-six hundred KV. Hopefully it fits. I I didn't try it, but I'm assuming it will because it's just a ten scale, ten scale motor. Nothing. Nothing spectacular about that. Just your sensorless. Uh I think four pole. Four pole motor. That comes with your instruction manual if you choose to. Read that. It's a two three S motor, but we're we're gonna be using why don't I put it back in the box? We're gonna be using it outside of the box. So we'll sit it right here next to this guy. Okay. And to put on that motor, I had my buddy Jeff. Um I forgot to get one of these. This is uh, pinion gear, right? Pinion. So uh, he was nice enough to bring me an assortment of pinions. And this one, I believe, is a 20 tooth. Let's see. Can you see that? It says 20 tooth. I hope it's a 48 pitch. It seems to be. We'll find out. If not, We'll have to replace a spur gear and a pinion gear after we get this put together. Okay, we got that. Let's see if it fits on there. Just make sure it fits. And it's got a grub screw in there too, so. 
And perfect, yeah, that's gonna go on there just fine. All right, so we got that. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, can't see it, can't see that just yet, can't see that just yet. Okay, so more lights. Drift truck can't have a drift vehicle of any kind without lights, underglow lights, LED. Underglow. So let's uh, go ahead and crack this open. Again, Amazon, I think these were Amazon. These were Amazon. So just Amazon RC LED lights, and you get these. You just plug that into one of the ports, many ports of my receiver. And uh, yeah, he'll be good to go. All right, we'll be JDM drifting in no time. All right, so we got that. Now we can't drift without some fly hot boy wheels. Fly hot boy wheels. Got some fly hot boy wheels. These also came from either Amazon or eBay. Just look up RC 10 scale drift wheels. And this is what you get. Now, um, I, they said gold. <laughs> okay, they said they were gonna be gold. Um, let's take my little plastic and see what they look like outside of the plastic. To me, I think they look more chrome orange than gold, but I got a plan to fix what I need fixing. There's some 10 scale plastic drift wheels. They look chrome orange, which is why you see that. They look chrome orange. And I might need to spray in here just to even it out. I don't know why they don't do that lazy. Uh, okay. And black plastic wheels. I wonder if these pop off. Do they pop off? So you can change them? Might have to heat them up. Oh, yeah, look. They slide right off. They slide right off. Look, see that? Slide right off. That's cool. Okay. What does it say? It says... Drift 455 200 or 21. It's a C5A rating. Max B technology. All right, drift wheels. All right. Let's not get too much into that. Their drift wheels are cheap. They're like $13. And we'll, we'll get into all that at the end, okay? All right. So we got drift wheels. Hot boy drift wheels. Supposed to be gold, but they're, yeah, supposed to get. Whatever. So now um, the Plasti Dip back here. You see Plasti Dip, okay? I'm going to use the Plasti Dip on the back of the light buckets so you don't get bleed through from the lights after I cut them out. So I'll, I'll spray in black so the lights stay contained. And then I'll put probably put that metal backing on the inside. It's not too much of a hassle. Maybe I'll just spray paint it chrome. I've got some chrome, chrome spray paint in the garage, I think. Okay, so... Y'all been wanting to know what the drift truck is going to be. What's the drift truck? All right. I got this over a year ago. Maybe two years ago, okay? 
And it's been sitting on my shelf because I didn't want to drive it because I figure it was the last one that was that I could find. But there are more out there under a different name. And uh well without further ado this guy. I'm gonna use the Vatera. This one's the Vatera. Now they're they're made on the low C now, but this is the Vatera uh B one hundred C ten. Um Chevy pickup truck. This is what I'm gonna use to be the drift truck. It's low enough. Look at it. It's low enough. Right? It's the body stylish enough to be a drift truck. It's got the the nice low slung bed. The bumpers are wrapped and tucked. Everything's here. Everything's here. Okay, except electronics, which is why I got this stuff here. Okay. Uh, I got this at the hobby shop, at my local hobby shop. Um, NWRC Raceway. Uh, I got it. Somebody bought it. Didn't know what they were doing and fried the electronics. So, and, and the reason why, <clears throat> oh, well, we'll get back to that. And fried the electronics. So, now... The only thing that's in here is a servo, and I don't know if that works. If that servo doesn't work, and it's a full-on three-wire servo because it was a brush 2-in-1 ESC receiver that was in here, and a brush 540 motor, I, I stripped all that out. And I said, let me just have the roller, and I kept the, the, the servo in here. If it doesn't work, I have another one in the other room. But, uh, yeah, it's all complete. It's set. Um, and that's what I'm going to use for the donor, for the drift, for the four wheel drift truck. Okay. And I could even probably put more bodies on it if I want to. Now I just, I, I got the chrome wheels because I got the, the, the gold orange wheels because I think the chrome is kind of dated and, and eighties, you know, eighties and nineties looking. Remember, I had my high boots so was decked out in chrome. I don't think I could do that again. My high boot, my my uh, Subaru WRX has chrome bits on it, and I'm blacking those out and getting rid of those. Um, but yeah, I'll get rid of the the silver chrome at least. Silver chrome, you're saying, but Jeff, you got orange chrome or gold chrome? Yeah, color chrome. We're gonna go color chrome, color chrome, or just different colors all together. So we're gonna mess around with the different color wheels like these and that's why i so i i got this okay so then we're talking about the body here now let's talk about the body and then again you say jeff the body's got chrome all over the front all over the front we're going to get rid of the chrome we're going to Remove the bump, the, the chrome, spray it with this orange. I couldn't find a chrome orange, but I sprayed it on some white something, and it came out pretty close to this. So I figure if I spray that orange on the chrome, it'll be pretty close to this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this chrome, get that bow tie black, Keep everything black and probably get some um, touch up the little silver areas. Get an orange Sharpie pen or, or something like paint pen and cover those up. The Chevrolet to maybe or maybe even just just black that out. But yeah, that's the project. That's the four wheel drive drift truck so we got the Vatera we got the the gold orange 
drift wheels, 80 amp PSC, brushless motor, paint to cover the chrome. We got the JDM underglow, light buckets for the lights, receiver for receiving the signal from the transmitter with the built-in gyro, black plasti dip to back the light buckets, and the wing for the rear. Yes, sir. Got our work cut out for us. All right. That being said, that's the end of part one. Part two is the build. All right, guys. If it's your first time checking out the channel, I'd like to say thank you for stopping by. Consider hitting that thumbs up, leaving a comment down below, subscribing and ringing the bell for notifications if you want to see where this goes and some more of what happens here in the RC, RC Alex Garage. Um, all you subscribers, thank you for coming back. Um, I say, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. Let's see what happens. All right. Share the knowledge. Keep the hobby alive. God bless. Peace.